Uganda's lack of large construction companies has left road construction to multinational companies, especially from China. One of the largest projects by the Chinese communications construction company is the 51-kilometer expressway from Entebbe Airport to Kampala. But at a cost of 450 million U.S. dollars, almost triple Uganda's entire road construction budget, some question why the work was not given to a local company. Most of these corporations owned by Chinese in Uganda are partially owned by the government of China. But which company in Uganda is being owned by by government of Uganda and Ugandans? It's not there. So we're saying we need to allow room to grow these local companies by giving them the opportunity. Ugandan contractors in 2017 lobbied to get 30% of high-value construction reserved for local farms. But earlier this year, the Public Procurement Authority and Ministry of Finance repealed the regulation. Authorities argue local contractors struggle too much with finances, equipment and adequate experience for big projects. And the Chinese companies have come out to offer relatively cheaper options and yet they do good work as well. So it's not that uh, the country is giving work specifically to Chinese, but it has to do with their rates as well. To finance the Entebbe Express Highway, China Exim Bank extended 20% of the funding as a loan to Uganda. Owing money to China could become a problem, says the Uganda Debt Network's Kapwepe Julius Mshambi. The Chinese, for heaven's sake, are not here for charity across Africa, and therefore that must be at the heart of every African. Af African. And also that our own development as Africans, it is mainly us as Africans that can be able to take lead and take charge rather than simply run someone else's money. Local contractors argue the government needs to finally pass and implement a 2005 bill designed to support the Uganda construction industry. The bill, among other things, calls for government to help improve the capabilities of Ugandan contractors by requiring multinationals to transfer knowledge to local companies. Halima Thumani for VA News, Kampala.